Hello friends, in today's video we are going to cover the topic of cephalochordata, hemichordata and urochordata. Give an account of the general characteristics of cephalochordata. Cephalochordata In cephalochordata, cephalo is a Greek word which means head and chordata is a Latin word which means chords. Cephalochordates include two genera. Asymmetron and second one is branchiostoma. Cephalochordates are small fish like animals that show chordate characters. The notochord extends the entire length of the body. They show a dorsal tubular neural tube without a definite brain. Common characteristics of cephalochordata. The body is like that of a fish and is useful for digging and swimming. It has a head, it shows a tail, appendages are absent, dorsal, caudal and ventral fins are present. The body wall shows a one cell thick non-ciliated epidermis, dermis connective tissue, striated muscle and parietal peritoneum. It has no skeleton. The notochord extends from the anterior end to the posterior end. Enterocelic cilum is present, however reduced by the atrium in the pharyngeal resin. The elementary canal is long. It consists of a large pharynx in which many gill slits have developed a ciliary feeding mode. Gill will perform respiration. Circulatory system is closed. Cardiac and respiratory pigments are absent. The hepatic portal system is present. The excretory system shows paired protonephridia with solenocytes. The brain doesn't exist. Two pairs of brain stems and several pairs of spinal cord are present. Genders or sexes are different. Gonads are arranged metamerically and are without gonad ducts. Asexual reproduction will not occur. Fertilization is external. So this is the general characteristics of cephalochordata. Example of cephalochordata are amphioxus or lancelate. Hemichordata. It is a group of nonchordates or invertebrates. It contains about 100 species. Hemi is a Greek word which means harp and Latin word is corda which means cord. General features of hemichordata. Hemichordata are bilaterally symmetrical and triploblastic animals. They are exclusively marine animals. They can occur singly or in colonies. Hemichordata consists of actual body cavity or cilum. The digestive system is complete with an anus and can be in the form of a U-shaped tube or straight. A buccal diverticulum is present in the provoxes. The body is divided into three regions, trunk, collar and protostome. Then communication system is open type which means Circulatory system is open type, is opened. Then respiration occurs through the gills. The proboscis consists of a glomerulus which is the excretory organ. A primitive nervous system exists. The sexes are separate or united. Reproduction is mostly sexual reproduction. Fertilization is external. The development is mostly indirect, but some species exhibit direct evolution. Its examples are Balanoglossus, Sacoglossus, Eurocordata. Euro means tail, which is originate from a Latin word, and Cordata is a is also from a Latin word, which means cord. Tunicates were previously thought of as sponges. In his classification system, later they were involved or included in the molluscan. In 1866, Kovalevsky placed them in chordates. 
their coded features are clearly seen in the larval stages all urocodata are marine and found in all seas most of them are sedentary and some are pelagic the body shows variation in shape and form the body is segmented and has no tail the body is covered by a test it is formed by tunicin which binds to cellulose hence the name is tunicata the body wall shows a single layered epidermis the dermis is formed by connective tissue and muscular and atrial epithelium cilium is absent the atrial cavity surrounds the pharynx in this cavity gill slits anus and genital ducts open it opens through the atrial orifice the tail of the larva has a notochord it disappears during metamorphosis the wall of the pharynx in the respiratory system consists of gills the ciliary method of feeding is common the open type circulatory system appears the heart is abdominal and it reverses its function from time to time the nervous system in the adult is represented by a single dorsal ganglion excretion is done by nephrocytes asexual reproduction occurs by budding bisexual animal and cross fertilization is favored fertilization is external development consists of a minute free swimming tadpole larva with a tail a dorsal nerve cord and a notochord in the tail retrograde metamorphosis is observed in the history of the life in some urocodata